Hello everybody, it's Mr. Aaron from the White Mountain Library and I'm here with yet another Wyoming Reads book for you. Wyoming Reads, of course, is the program where every first grader in the state of Wyoming gets their very own picture book to take home forever and ever and ever until the end of time. And in these videos, I am reading the selections for you so that you can decide which one you want to be yours. And in this video, we are going to be reading Crossings. Extraordinary Structures for Extraordinary Animals, written by Katie S. Duffield. Duffield? Duffield. Duffield. Sorry. <laughs> so this is a pretty cool little book. It's not a little book, actually. It's a pretty big book. Oh, in terms of, look at how big it is. Do, 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 do. Okay. Ooh. Some fancy animals. Over, under, across, through. Around the world, construction crews build overpasses, underpasses, bridges, and tunnels. Ways for people to get from one place to another. But what about the animals that live in these places? What happens when construction spreads over, under, across, and through their habitats? Around the world, in search of solutions, animal lovers come together. Over, under, across, through, opening their minds and their hearts, they work to find ideas, answers. Construction crews work again, but these structures aren't for traveling people. They are for traveling animals. A bull elk picks his way through evergreens over a noisy Canadian highway. The Trans-Canadian Highway is home to more than 40 wildlife overpasses and underpasses. And the crossings don't just benefit elk. Bears, wolves, cougars, bighorn, sheep, and other animals get to use the crossings too. A mama elephant thunders under a crowded Kenyan road. For many years, two groups of elephants, one from Mount Kenya's highlands and another from the plains and forests below, have been separated by a major highway. But with the addition of an elephant underpass, the two groups can now reconnect and share habitats. Squirrel gliders skitter across woven rope bridges stretched high above an Australian freeway. Hume Highway, used by about 10,000 vehicles per day, was an extremely hazardous route for squirrel gliders. But now, thanks to the addition of rope bridges above the busy road, squirrel, gri <laughs> squirrel gliders can cross safely to breed and find food. Blue penguins hustle home to their chicks through a tiny tunnel beneath the New Zealand pavement. The blue penguins of Umaru travel to the sea for food, but nest on the land. At sunset, the birds were forced to cross a busy road to get back to the chicks in their nests until a lighted underpass was built to assist them. Once they discovered the safe crossing, the little birds made it their daily route. Red crabs scuttle up, up, and over an Australian bridge that leads to the Indian Ocean. Every year, sometime between October and January, millions of red crabs leave the forests of Christmas Island and head for the Indian Ocean, where female crabs will lay their eggs. Specially built crab bridges help keep the brightly colored crustaceans out of harm's way on their journeys. Look at all those crabs, there's tons of them. Florida panthers slip slink under the roar of traffic above. Over time, the Florida panthers' habitat has dwindled to almost nothing. 
wildlife crossings help keep the animals away from the dangers of roadways and open up broader areas for these endangered animals to grow and thrive. TT monkeys tightrope across blue rope bridges that keep them safe above a Costa Rican road. Costa Rica's smallest species of monkey, the TT, is endangered. A group of young people, kids saving the rainforest, found a solution to help save them. Thick blue ropes strung across roads enable the monkeys to move safely from one side to the other. Why did the monkey cross the rope? To get to the other side. <laughs> that's not part of the book, that's just a lame joke. Spotted salamanders shimmy through peewee passageways beneath a Massachusetts street. Each spring, as evening temperatures begin to rise, spotted salamanders in North Amherst head for the ponds where they will breed. Tiny crossings aided by fences to guide the little guys were installed to help keep their travels safe. Coyotes creep over the rush of Arizona motorists below. Coyotes and many other animals, including javelinas, bobcats, rabbits, quail, deer, foxes, roadrunners, and skunks, use the crossings in Arizona. Black bear cubs follow mama under a Montana highway. Before wildlife crossings were built on Highway 93 in Montana, engineers teamed up with biologists to search for the perfect place to build the crossings. They used sand pits to record animal footprints and even counted poop piles to discover the animal's favorite crossing sites. Pangolins teeter-totter toward their burrows across a Singapore expressway. When the Bukit Timah Expressway in Singapore was built, it cut a wide swath of rainforest in two. The busy six-lane roadway kept critically endangered Sunda pangolins from food, shelter, and mates. But today, the hourglass-shaped wildlife bridge helps them safely find their way to the other side. A koala saunters through a tunnel along a ledge below an Australian road. Koalas can swim, but prefer to keep their feet dry, a problem for crossings in low areas that can be full of water. To entice the furry marsupials to use the underpasses, workers added ledges and logs that act as bridges above the wet ground. Over, under, across, through. Around the world, these unique structures protect animals. Living proof that opening our minds and our hearts can make all the difference. Why, it certainly can, can't it? So that is another one of our fabulous stories, and we'll be coming back with some more videos for you very soon.